Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today we're going to be going over the top 20 most expensive Hasbro plush that have sold recently. Um, I'm not going to be going over any of the action figures or plastic toys or anything like that that Hasbro sells. Um, this is going to be primarily plush. If you want me to do an action figure or, or plastic toy video, um, let me know and I'll try to fit one in sometime. <laughs> Um, anyway, if you don't know Hasbro, Hasbro started way back in 1923 with three brothers in Providence, Rhode Island. Now, they didn't become a primary uh, toy company till 1942. That's when they developed uh, their first big seller, which was Mr. Potato Head. Uh, they started Mr. Potato Head, or they created Mr. Potato Head way back when. Uh, their other notable brands are G.I. Joe and My Little Pony. And we will hit a bunch of My Little Pony on this video. Anyways, uh, let's get into it. Alright, number 20. Uh, number 20, which is surprising to me, it is the Hulk Smash Hands. I've had a few of them, but these actually make sound. I guess um, the cheaper ones don't make sound, but I guess you hit them and these make sound. Um, had a couple... Of I had a couple of uh, versions of this, but I've never had ones that make sound. So, sh pretty shocked that this um, actually made the top 20. But yeah, there you go. It actually has some real detailed like fingernails. Look at that. <laughs> uh, pretty sick. Uh, this guy sold for best offer of $69.99 plus $19.95 shipping. So, nice little start there. Uh, nine, uh, number 19, this is a vintage uh, Hasbro, especially my Barney talking singing plush. That's a lot of words there. Um, but yeah, this guy's in the box. I've, I've had a few of them out of the box. They don't sell as well or as much. But um, yeah, you can see the ones in the box will sell for some good money. Uh, make sure if you're ever listing Barney and it doesn't make sound or it doesn't have a voice box, make sure you put it in the listing because you can get a negative. I've gotten one before, had to take it off. Um, so make sure you put it in the, the listing. Anyways, this guy sold for a best sell for $69.99 plus $20 shipping. All right, number 18. This is a lot of two uh, Gengar and Meowth plush. Yeah, uh, you know Pokemon can sell for some ridiculous amount of money. I think the if I remember correctly, Meowth is the more expensive one out of this group, but obviously someone wanted both of them. The boxes aren't perfect, so if you can get perfect boxes, you can actually sell it for a lot more. Uh it doesn't say how tall they are, but it's from 1999 and they sold for $70 plus Twenty-two ninety shipping and handling. Next one, we have a talking Margolo from Stuart Little. Um, don't remember this bird, but obviously <laughs> uh, it can sell for some good money. Uh, I don't think I even watched Stuart Little. I guess I should watch it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this bird, I don't know what it says or anything. Does it even say it? Does it say in the description? It'd be cool. Uh, no, does not uh, say what um, it says or she says. But anyways, uh, it sold for eighty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents plus eleven sixty shipping, and it's just a little bird. There you go. Uh, the next one is a Toy Story and Beyond pull string Woody. Uh, Toy Story has always been hot, especially the ones that talk. Uh, Hasbro does work with Disney. They pretty much work with every company to make uh, different toys for them. Uh, I don't know if there's a company that uh, Hasbro hasn't worked with. But yeah, it looks like Woody plays a guitar and he has a pull string that, um, if it still works, is always a lot of money involved when these pull strings uh, still work because um, they go out a lot because kids just pull and pull and pull and usually break them. Anyways, uh, this one sold for $89 plus $11.63 shipping. Next one, we have a Jumbo Shrek. Uh, this is from Shrek 2. 
uh, you can see the size of him. He's sitting in a chair and he's making the chair look kind of small. Uh, yeah, he has nice soft eyes. Uh, I do put soft eyes in some of my listings because some people are looking for uh, more of a baby or a younger toy. So every, if it fits, I do uh, let the people know that they do have soft eyes in my listing or plastic eyes or whatever it is in my listing glitter eyes shiny eyes um, anytime I have space in my listing I will put that in the listing anyways uh, this jumbo 25 inch monster sold for $35 plus $65.80 shipping Steve Urkel I know this is more of a doll but he has like plush features so I decided just to put him in here um, he's talking he's a talking doll from Family Matters and he is new in box and he says a whole bunch of different things like I did I do that no sweat my pet and he snorts got any cheese <laughs> uh, you don't know family matters it was a good show way back when it's been a long time since that show was popular but anyways uh, he sold for $80 plus twenty one twenty shipping Next one is another Toy Story doll. This is Jesse. Uh, Jesse always seems to sell a little bit more than Woody or Buzz or all of them. I guess um, there, I guess there's a little bit less made of her, so um, she's wanted by everybody. So she makes a little bit more money. <laughs> uh, does it make sound? Uh, it's Toy Story and Beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it doesn't say if she makes sound or anything. Anyways, uh, always keep your eye out for Jessie. She can sell, even the small ones sell for like $20. So keep her out for her. Uh, this one sold for $96 plus $10.21 shipping. Uh, this one is a vintage gizmo from Hasbro Softies. I'm not familiar with the Softies brand. I've known I've sold a few, but uh, just can't remember right now but I know I've had a few softies because I remember the tag but yeah gizmo always sells very well but even the um, bad guys so keep your eye out for him you can see he has little toes <laughs> uh, he sold for a hundred dollars plus 870 shipping Hasbro Zingba Booba. I actually have a purple one of these guys. I don't know what I have enlisted for. I know it was over fifty dollars, um, but yeah, I was not familiar with these guys, so I got a couple of them. And obviously, they are super popular. You can see there's the tag on them: Zing Zing Zingba. <laughs> 2004 Hasbro. I don't know if it was a show or what. I'm guessing it was a show these guys were on. Uh, but anyways, um, he sold for $79.99 plus $49.80 shipping. So not bad for a zing zing z ba boo ba. That is a lot of words. Uh, another Pokemon that sold. This is Cybra Psyduck. Uh, vibrating. He shakes. So yeah. <laughs> He's a big duck that shakes. Uh, is he out of the package? I know you'd know. They kept him well um, hidden in the package. So, yeah. Keep your eye out for Psyduck. All, all Pokemon do sell very well. Um, especially when they're new in the box. Anyways, he sold for $119.99 plus $14.95 shipping. Sesame Street, Let's Rock, Elmo. There you go. I have them guy right here. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I don't have all the equipment with this guy. Or, yeah, you can, I can make some good money. I just picked him up. I don't remember where I picked him up, but I've had him for a little while. He's just sitting over there. I was hoping to find some of the, the um, items, like the microphone and stuff, but I've never found anything like that. Anyways, uh, in the box, you can see press... Elmo's hand and he starts singing. Okay. <laughs> uh, he sold for $95.99 plus $48.97 shipping. So about $150 for that guy. Another Pokemon. Uh, this is 
Lugia. It says it's super rare and vintage. Okay. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, they didn't give me many pictures to work with. But um, there's the Hasbro tag right there. So it is from Hasbro. He's like a purple white bird type creature Pokemon. It's a pocket monster. It's a Pokemon. Uh, anyways, he sold for best offer of 200 plus 24 dollars shipping. Uh, this one was from Australia. So, all right, this one shocked me because these do not sell very well for me uh, when I had them. Uh, these are animatronic um, Mandalorian baby Yoda. Um, had a bunch of the plush version without the the plastic head. Uh, they sell okay, not great. <laughs> Bandalorian and uh, Grogu, the child, is so flooded right now. They It's oversaturated, so I don't buy them very often unless I get them super cheap. But this was a set of three. I decided to show it to you because, hey, if you can get this much money for these guys, that would be great. But yeah, like I said, uh, the plush, it's super slow because like I said it's oversaturated anyways a set of three uh, sold for $150 plus $21.95 shipping uh, vintage uh, talking big bird and there's the model number on this guy he's from 1986 um, I actually had a cassette recorder guy right here you can see I had the cassette I haven't listed him because I don't even know how to test it all right the fix the batteries and stuff but uh, you can see his eyes like moving and, and everything he's really cool little big bird well not real little he's a big bird <laughs> uh, this guy says hi I'm big bird and I don't know if he has any other sayings or anything else like that but yeah he is in the box then it says oh he has another saying I live on Sesame Street anyways he sold for a best offer of $199.99 plus $17.99 shipping so Nice. Oh, he also says want some bird seed. Of course, he's big bird. <laughs> Alright, next one. Of course, we're going to run into Pikachu. This is a chubby version of Pikachu. Uh, <laughs> he's hilarious. Uh, I've had a bunch of the smaller uh, chubby ones, but this is uh, the chubby 16-inch one. I guess this is the older version. It's 1999. I am not sure. Um, when Pikachu originated from but hey, keep your eye out for this chubby Pikachu I guess he ate too much <laughs> the other Pikachus are always so small uh, this version uh, is uh, a, a gluttonous Pikachu I guess uh, he sold for 275 uh, with free shipping all right all right we got a few more to go uh, this is electronic Mew talking uh, plush Mew, one of the Pokemon that is super uh, wanted. Everybody wants Mew. There's a few of them, uh, like a Dragon's uh, Charizard. I mean, there's a bunch of Pokemon that are super wanted, and this is one of them. Mew is uh, like a cat-like. You can see it has a real long tail. Uh, he sold for two seventy nine, and they actually have one left. So if you want to go buy a Mew for yourself, go ahead. All right, we are in the top three. Baby Sinclair dinosaur talking plush. Uh, as you can see, he says a whole bunch of things. It says, "Not the mama, I'm the baby. Gotta love me. Hello, fat boy. I'm hungry. Feed my mouth." And I'm going to bite you now. <laughs> so, yeah, it, has, it has cool nails. Look at the nails on him. Yeah, yeah, they didn't do well on the feet. That's pretty bad. But, <laughs> yeah, really nice toy. These were in the top all over the place. So, if you find any of these, whether it has a box or not, make sure you pick them up. Uh, he sold for $234.95 plus $81. 35 shipping so all right the last two this is a my little pony rare from our pajama pal from australia uh, this is a i think it's a pretty big guy i doesn't say how tall this guy is 
Um, but yeah, it has like an opening right here. You can see um, it zippers up. So I guess it holds your pajamas when you go visiting with grandma or whatever. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a big My Little Pony. And like I said, Hasbro is uh, one of the main characters from Hasbro has, is My Little Pony. Uh, he sold for $4.95.95 plus $14.22 shipping. Number one is another My Little Pony. Uh, I took out a lot of My Little Ponies because they would have just probably would have been like 15 of the top 20 just My Little Ponies. So um, when you find a big My Little Pony, look them up. I mean, not the plastic ones. The plastic ones don't seem to be as rare, but the plush, bigger versions uh, seem to be super rare. Uh, this is another one with a pocket. I don't know if it shows it. Uh, but I know the version yeah, When it says pajama pal, you know, it has like a pocket in it. So um, You see a uh, my little pony with a zipper make sure you pick it up because these things can go for good money This one actually sold for twelve hundred dollars. So <laughs> yeah uh, That is crazy money on a my little pony Anyways, um, hope you enjoy the video. Please give the video a thumbs up Subscribe if you're new and don't fiddle fart around get all your listings up go find a bunch of my little ponies make yourself millions and <laughs> take care. Bye